There you go. I was going to do a, a little unboxing or whatever you want to call it review of this Gerber dime. Um, whenever I sold my other car, I was in such a hurry to get the new car. <laughs> and if you knew the problems that I had with the other one, you'd be you'd know why I was um, trying to get out of there as fast as I could. <laughs> but anyways, I had this I had this Gerber dime, and the one I had was a was black on black. Um, I use that thing so often, and mainly because it was so little but yet it had so many features um, it's it's fairly light it has pretty much everything you need um, you know for a quick get to it do what you gotta do kind of thing so um, it's a lifetime warranty through Gerber on the back you can kind of see all the all the features and everything I'll let you look at all that. All right. Now, there you go. All right. So, as you can tell, it's it's pretty small. And then whenever it folds up really small too. And I'll show you. Hang on. So here's my Buick key. The key fob I guess. That's the house key. And then as you can see it's it's pretty much the same size. Uh, it'll be like that in my pocket. But just a kind of a, a size comparison so you can see how useful how small how, the small package and how useful it is uh, I guess I'll start on the outside you got your bottle cap opener I'm not gonna use that <laughs> um, tweezers and these are fairly decent decent tweezers whenever you whenever you close them together that's there's no light chilling through it, so that's good. Um, here, this is a, a box opener, which you could have used for this, where you kind of just stick it in the side. And as you can see, it doesn't go way down deep. So you're you're gonna cut your you know whatever's in your box, okay. and you see that cuts cuts pretty nice. So that's that. Use that quite a lot. Um, the actual knife itself, the actual knife itself, is a uh, is it's got a like a curve to it, and from what I remember it. it it cuts pretty good and it was fairly sharp. We can... mm, there's one here. <laughs> A little bit. A couple passes on the. Couple passes and, and it'll be good to go. It'll be razor sharp. So, uh, one thing I did have an issue with is whenever I take kind of that light right, right where I need to be. Um, whenever I was using this, I used it too much and it actually folded back a little bit. And, um, Anyways, whenever I used the other one, it, it did kind of fold back on itself and I was getting ready to um, write a warranty claim and, well, then I lost it, so no, I didn't lose it, but it was on the other keychain. Somebody probably kept it because it, it was a good one, but I don't know if that's picking up, but there is oil on this, so these are fairly decent scissors. 
Let's see. But, uh, well, that's no big deal. So we cut all day long. And it's it's fairly ergonomical, I guess you could say. If you turn your palm of your hand, around your fingers and go to town. So there's that and then of course you have your your pliers. And uh yeah these these pliers do pretty good. They they have that spring assist in there. Overall, great, great little tool to have on your keychain. Of course, you're still going to have your ADC stuff, your um, actual full size knife and multi tool or, or whatever, but for fitting on your keychain, um, it's, uh, it's pretty good. I like it a lot. So, um, Let's see, I got this one off of Amazon, I believe. Let me see. Amazon, $16. It's a good one. It's a good one. I like it a lot. So they have they have one that's it's black on both sides. Of course, you got the black and red, and then they have like a black and like a green. Um, oh, I forgot these. <laughs> so this is going to be like your 2D Phillips, I guess. Not really 3D, but you'll get the job done. You got your file on that end. Another file on that end. Then your flathead screwdriver. That's it. So... I'll go pick up one. It's uh, like I said for sixteen dollars, and it's it's all metal. Uh, I don't think anything on it is plastic. Let's see if magnet sticks to it. Yeah, I think this is aluminum on the outside, and that's metal, steel. Yeah, I, I guess that's aluminum on the outside because it's not really wanting to stick. But, alright y'all. Y'all comment, right? Um, great little keychain. You know, everybody's always looking for cool little gimmicks or whatever for their keychain, but this is actually very useful. So, alright, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Comment, right? We'll see you later. See ya.